All right, Grand Rising, everyone. It's Shalanda, and I'm back. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to uh, do this video. Like I said, I just feel like, you know, um, again, with the whole new feeling of mm, just feeling myself, like feeling myself in a different light, right? Where I have to be concerned at this point in time in my life, I have to be very uh, consumed and concerned with my well-being first and then <laughs> the type of things that I do. Because like I said, if I'm not concerned about my safety and my security, how can I be there? You know what I'm saying? To do the work that I feel I have been put on the planet to do, regardless of what anyone else on this plane thinks, right? So again, you know, like I said, I, you know, I, I, it is very hard to be someone. And maybe everybody has not gone through this. Maybe, again, people, when they came into themselves and they started to really tap into their gifts, maybe they had a certain amount of support. Maybe they didn't have people around them that didn't understand what they were going through. Maybe, you know, and, and in a sense for me, it seems like everybody, it seems like a lot of people that I come in contact with or even that are close. It's almost like they see what it is. They see that there's a gift there. But instead of acknowledging as that as that, they want to try to put a stigma on things. And again, for me, like I said, I just, I don't know. Something about just sitting here when the world is collapsing around you and knowing that you are a part of that which is supposed to help enlighten or bring a message, but you have energy around you that pr would prefer you not do it while sources inside of you, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like that whole warring with yourself or, you know, be at a disadvantage or, uh, you know, like to a certain extent with the people of this world, right? And it's just like, you know, I can't, fight that but you know i can do both like i can because i'm it, what what makes what me brings me pleasure <laughs> is a sense of knowing things and doing what i'm feel like i'm here to do right so it doesn't matter how much you know um real stuff that you 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 bring to the table it doesn't have, matter how many facts it doesn't matter people are going to see things the way that they want to see them and i'm not here to convince anyone to see them the way that i see them right so you know like i said at the end of the day i'm at a point where like i said i don't care what people think about how they feel about me i don't care about people trying to put me in a box and make me operate in a certain way in a certain fashion or like only time people want to do that to you is because it's going to be something that's going to work in their advantage and for me i just can't do i, I just don't deal with cookie cutter um structured the way that society has set things up like when it comes to me and my message, it doesn't, that doesn't resonate with me. It's like a higher calling. It just doesn't resonate with me. And, and I can't stop myself from seeing things the way that I see them. And I can't stop myself from delivering the messages the way that I do. So I'm going to go, hold on. I forgot my cards. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> so I like this deck because it's very playful to me. Um, It kind of goes along with the... Mm, kind of like fairy, fairy tale-esque <laughs> um, kind of way that I see, okay? Um, and, it, and I would not even use it in that sense. Like, <clears throat> the sense of using your imagination still, right? Along with other things as far as discernment, cognitive, um, uh, <laughs> just using also uh, visuals and things like that in order to be able to see, right? So you're going to have to have some form of like a, I'm not saying imagination like it's play play. I'm just saying be, having your mind be able to go to a place, right? Where you can still kind of create 
but in like a realistic, from a realistic approach, okay? Just to stretch beyond what has been locked up in the box, just to go to those outer limits of the mind, right? So again, here, here's the cards that I pulled. Now I pulled these yesterday and I had them sitting out because I never really uh, got to um, put them in the video. And because, you know, usually if, if it's something that is just really like on me, usually... <laughs> The cards sit there so that I can come back the next day or two days later and look again to see what's been going on and transpiring within the past couple of days, you know, and what could these cards be saying. So again, this is a, and I'm at a point where I don't give up no more, you see? So it's just like, to me, I'm letting go. I'm letting go. I'm letting go. And I'm, I'm letting the spiritual realm really take the lead and I'm really sitting here listening and taking heed which goes against all odds and it goes against what again I feel like it the forces on earth right want from me but I cannot not be me I cannot and I feel like again with everything that's going on in the 3D it's happening over me it's happening to me. It's directed towards me. There's no... It seems as though there, it's, there's like a shh, like... Uh, mm, it does something to me. What? Why am I looking at this book here? Of course it is. It warns of us, us of impeding dangers. Sometimes it can be tapped in us to rid us of mental worry. I accept your word for it to exist. Huh. We'll, we'll have to go. You know what? It's for some reason. <laughs> uh, emotions erupt to the surface. Wait. Just where do you place our appetites and desires? Not too far below the surface. Under excitement of one kind of or another. Um, they are apt to break through. This is making me think about that fear and happiness energy. Um, early influences, inborn tendencies. Mm. <laughs> Even activastic memories drift along the slower current at the floor of the stream. But even these can be stirred by some violent emotions and erupt to the surface. And then they'll, they're, um, there's the hell to pay. Not necessarily. Not everything submerged. There we go about submerged and submarine. And suppressed is evil. But it is useful. Of course it is. It warns us of, a impending, da of impending dangers. Sometimes it can be tapped enough to rid us of mental worry i accept your word for it but to me some of the new stuff seems far-fetched the practice of it smacks too much of confessional wow paris rose and crossed to the window standing for a moment with his hands on elsie's shoulders he looked out into the moonlit garden Paul thought that for some reason he was abandoning the argument. When Paris turned again to Paul, he fa his face was serious. Psychoanalysis does not call a confession call for a confession. Paul, confession is a conscious act of repentance and ritual. Him consciously guilty in uh, psychoanalysis and patient gradually reveals the unconscious sense of guilt in which he had been unaware now this is very fucking interesting we just gonna do it nothing more than social convenience to keep the pack away from those who devise the forms so is the underdog thinking revolt comes mm. But the forms evolved by society itself for its own liberation hold firm. You understand? Hmm. Listen, nah. Y'all, I'm sitting here, we just reading. 
Th that's why I'm about to be talking about these videos called prophecy plan or projection period, whatever, right? Look at this book, The French Man's Creek, right? It's just sitting here on the, um, on the bookshelf because that's what this thing, this is one of my bookshelves here. And I call it my library room because that's what, what I usually come here to do. Copyright 1941. Daphne du Maurier something, Browning, printed in the U.S. 1943. To Patty. Patty is more of an Irish name, huh? Garden City, New York. Listen. Ooh, this is just what I'm talking about. And see, this is what people want. They want politically correct or it's not correct. I can't do that. I'm me. You know what I'm saying? I, I have many. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So there's a reason. There's always a reason for something. It's sitting right here on this bookshelf and something just told me to pick that book up. We open up to that page and this is kind of like exactly what we're talking about here. And how, and that's what I was about to say. I feel like somebody's trying to keep me at bay. Somebody is trying to keep, it's like whatever intuitive energy that's coming in, right? Um, it is trying to box me in or lock me down or grab on my, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just a person. I have a lot of, of different ways about myself. I have There's just so much more to me. And like I said, it just seems like people try to tie you. Stop. Not right now. People try to tie you down with what they think they know or what they saw or, you know what I'm saying, uh, by one part of you. And it's just like that whole thing, like, like you, you're not allowed to express yourself authentically. There has to be some kind of narrative or some kind of agenda behind what people do. And some of us are just naturally fluent when it comes to being in contact with many different elements of the spiritual realm in, in this world. We have a lot of gifts. And that's what I'm saying when it comes to the Christ or Jesus. And it's just like at the end of the day, I don't have to try to prove nothing to nobody. I'm just trying to enlighten the people, you know, what I'm saying on um, not so much as to who I feel like I am when I'm talking about the connections that I have to these um, these entities and to these different, um, you know, uh, bloodlines and things like that. I, it's just, again, <laughs> the way that God is going to use people or a person to show something to the world and they can either take it or they can leave it okay so again like i said hopefully we're going to be able to get on track but i just really hope y'all grasped because i don't want to just be micro picking at everything every time we should have just been able to really grasp what was just said in that book because it's funny we're talking about the french issue right now we're talking about the issue with the uk we're talking about the issue with all of this stuff here and for me, it seems as though his, this story is repeating itself. Does the outcome have to be the same? Well, if we don't start paying attention, then <clears throat> we have no one to blame. We have no one to blame. Because at this point, I'm going to just tell you out front, fluent, and, and just, just, just say it the way I'm going to say it. Right now, when we, I'm going back to that whole narrative of um, Black Lives Matter, right? If you take yourself all the way out of the emotions, it was a very divisive energy to put on the people in general. So we put one group that we know has been having a disadvantage to a certain extent because of many reasons, systematically and other. Self, as a, as a group, of, as a whole, um, th things that we have done and things that ha have been done to us as an, a, a group of people on this plane. Lack of knowledge, right? And one thing I notice about the indigenous community, 
I feel like there's some of us, the, the ones that are really organic with this, that brought this out of the mud and didn't have no ulterior motives. They they go un, unspoken or uh, sometimes they don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm proud to be a part of that group that took that out of the mud on their own. I really am. And we helped each other, I feel, a lot of times. We, we weren't looking at just one leader or anything like that. And we planted a lot of seeds and we're continuing to do so. But it won't matter if we don't start to pay attention that. The world, the, the, what I feel is that the, 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 that nature in, in, in the world is going to show us that, like it says in the Bible, they're not going to honor the old or the new. I think you're going to realize that America, that melting pot is going to be coming, turning into a dumping ground. And then it's going to go down. I just feel like this energy here. Hmm. And again, and I, I, just, I just had to sit down for a second and say, yeah, people complain about the length of the videos and stuff like that. But I don't know how many prophecies we have already put forth on this on this channel right here uh, over time that I never even looked at it like that until just recently. That some of us do have that eye, and I, I'll just say for my own self, to see that past, present, and future to a certain extent. But when it comes to the future, it's just the warning. It's the taking heed part, right? People can't separate the fact that I'm this fun, loving, <laughs> laughable, chill, well-grounded, connected, passionate, creative person, right? But God put me here to deliver a message, one that society doesn't want to hear, but the world needs to hear. So they feel as though they can dictate my movements, my mental, my behaviors, my money, my finances, right? And all these things, like, right? So it's a problem if you're yourself one second, but then you turn the camera on to do what God has placed you here to do and deliver messages that are sent directly from the divine and you're persecuted. <laughs> Although there are people that want to hear, they're listening. They don't want nobody else to hear what you have to say. <laughs> right? So hold on one second. Nugget. 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 So, um, so anyway, we're going to talk about a couple of things today. Like, I feel like I just want to run through a couple of brief topic, topics or whatever. But let's go ahead and look at these cards. And we're not even going to go into the real meaning. I'm just going to go ahead and use my intuition as to what these cards mean. Unless it really, really, really triggers me to go into the text, right? Okay. Well, and for this one, we are going to. All right. I'm glad this one is numbered. Anybody that numbers the books like this, I, I really appreciate you. <laughs> All right, so it says, this is the tree, right? And again, this is just, again, I just pull cards, again, on information on myself, you know what I'm saying, throughout the day, just to kind of like help guide me in a sense, right? So again, it says the tree, let them go. This is not the first time. What? No. Um, This is not the first time that we have picked up this card when I have sensed or felt in a sense how I am now. And I am letting go of many things. I don't give a damn if it's on the tree or not, right? So again, it reminds me of a family tree, right? Okay. It says, you often take on the pain. Hold on. Okay, let them go. You often take on the pain of others 
You used to think it was because you're an empath, but these days you're not sure. Sometimes it feels like other people are emptying their emotions into you and giving nothing in return. Sometimes we feel we've inherited pain from those who came before us in our family tree. Wow. This is your permission to let go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to carry for them. Point blank period. It's what we talking about. It, it ain't even no, and you see how she's sitting here. She real sad and everything. It's almost like she didn't give in. I didn't give it the best that I got. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I don't know. This purple at the end uh, over in this corner over here is, is drawing my attention as well. Right? You see, you know, her, her, you know, back is kind of exposed and she just, you know, she's sitting there and the shit just burning. And she, she, she hurt. She real hurt because she, she could see. And I'm kind of just talking about me. I'm just throwing in what I'm feeling as well. See? What is that? Is that shoes? Look, I'm trying to see from the back over here, y'all. Or is her feet just dirty? Look, I'm about to do this. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> There's a shooting star here. Yeah, and she's just going to let it burn. She's going to let it burn. She got some little twists, some little locks, some little red little locks in her hair. Almost remind me of my little hair I had in last week. Right? She definitely got some, there's, there's some uh, Senegalese twist or whatever they call it up in there. Some kinky twist. Um, yeah, but she just sitting there. She just, it's like, she's sitting strong, her back straight, but she, it is like everything that failed her. She, and she got to kind of just turn, sit there, turn and look away and say, I ain't mad at you, but I got you. I ain't even mad at you, but I got you. Right? Yeah, that, that's kind of deep. That's kind of real deep here. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. So then we got the sun. Paint the sun back into your sky. Damn near. Hmm. This is my story. This is my channel. You hear what I'm saying? Everybody ain't going to be able to deliver this message like we doing here because this is an individual one, right? <laughs> Paint the sun back into your sky. Cause like, even in a sense, like she's creative, you know what I'm saying? Her hair is kind of just, I guess some like boho, you know what I'm saying? Some, uh, hippie kind of energy here, right? She's on the wooden ladder, you know what I'm saying? Almost made me think about Jacob's ladder. Right. And she's painting the sun back into her sky. So many people tried to take the sun away from her. You know what I'm saying? Not realizing that that light is within her as well and that she could go ahead and just paint it back. Right. Rather, however, you could want to imagine that we're talking. OK, whether that's physically, spiritually, creatively, like she's doing with this paintbrush here. Because, again, when it comes to you being a part of that. Christ energy in a sense. Some people try to blow out your flame or put out your, you know, or sh uh, shed, shed their own light on a situation when it comes to you and who you are and how you think and what you do, right? And they may succeed for a couple seconds, but you know what happens every time you got to go back it within, find it, bring it right back out again and Again, it's going to be different every time. You know what I'm saying? And, and again, I notice how the sun is not even that strong right now. She could be, she might not be fun, finished, you know, making the image or whatever like that, but still manifesting the sun back in, even if you feel like it been removed or whatever, it's never going to be as potent as it was. And I think that's the sad part. I think that's the part of just like, for me, just looking at it in that light. It's, it feels as though it can never be as potent as it was. And it's, and, and I feel like, again, I mean, it's just sad. It's sad.
Y'all, we got to read these. We got to read these. I think I got time for one more. Yeah, because my camera, you know, it's um, it's messed up again. And I'm saying this, just like the Jesus's life shed a lot of life, a lot of light on the world. It's the same energy that I feel that I have. And again, some of you may feel that you have. And so again, to keep that all inside because people want to, and most of the time it's because people want to walk over you especially when it comes to the waters and the maritime energy, right? All right. So again, don't build a home that can come crumbling down if a single person walks out of the front door. You damn right. You do, Girl, look, I'm going to just tell y'all, this, this deck, this is like, it's a playful deck, but it's deep. It's so serious. It's just really so serious. There is no question about what's going on here. Right. And, and the thing is, if a single person is going to walk out because you're going to be 100 percent yourself and you cannot be tamed or you cannot be um, totally you're willing to compromise everything until you can't compromise no more without your own damn self walking out the door. Like, that's what I can't do. And again, I feel like I don't have to because I feel like it's not when it comes to many of these people in the world. It's the people that feel like because of the positions and the power that they have that they can dictate what's going on with other individuals. It's always that whole having your foot down on somebody else while you climb to almost just remind me, damn, this is the car we talking about. And this one time she going to take that step and step on that damn ladder and get up there and she going she gonna to put the damn son back herself. They try to take it, but she going to put it back. Whether it's a physical or it's just her shit. You know, look at that. I'm just telling you one thing. Because that's why relationships and, and, and companionships crash because of other people most of the time. But then if one person walks out, you can't just, that can't be the end. That ain't going to be the end for me. Not when you know you're the star of the show, in a sense. Without even being conceited or in any kind of egotistical way. It's because source says so. To you. Don't got to tell nobody else. It don't got to matter to nobody else. You have to think about, you should be the star of your own show. A hundred percent. We can't depend on other people to make us feel happy or fulfilled. The fact is people are going to leave from time to time. Um, you're the only one who's uh, guaranteed to stay. <laughs> Take the time to find uh, sources of joy outside of your loved ones. You deserve happiness at uh, happiness that lasts. And that's what I'm saying. Make it last forever or just don't even, you ain't clever. Don't bring that shit back around here unless that's what it is for me. And that's including me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't play yourself. I'm, I'm not allowed to play myself no more. And I'm not saying like be myself. I'm saying to play myself for other people, I don't give a damn who it is. They know who it is. Something, you know what I'm saying? I see something is going on. Somebody's lying about something. It's big time in my life. Rather they're lying to trying to protect me or they're lying because they're going to be getting something out of it by bringing me down or taking something from me. And I'm done with it. You're not going to take away anything else from me. And that goes for any person in this world that has any kind of connection with me. It's not even about the, the uh, although it is, it's not really mainly about that, the financial aspect or um, the physical aspect or anything like that. It's about something that is more, I don't know. It's like somebody could have, could have, could have done something really horrible and, and it wouldn't even matter to me to, to. get that back at some time, like just whatever they did it. I don't care. Right. Because again, you know, people want you to prove things, even though a lot of people prove things, but they're not really proving anything when it comes to, you know, things on a mass scale, when it comes to people in general on this plane. Right. So again, when you do use your gifts to show what's going on, then they want to, they want to evaluate you for other 
thing. So the more you speak, the more people want to use what you're saying against you to put you further inside of a coffin. And at this point in time, I don't care anymore to withhold anything. I never have. I'm not going to fear what is going to be done to me by speaking my truth. If it's not, if it's not bothering you, then it shouldn't even be like, I don't know. I'm just coming to a new level. It's just like a, it's, it's reckless, but it's still reserved. It's just me.